What is up, everybody? We are back and playing some Walking Dead once again. Uh, I went to bed last night and really thought about this game. Damaged. Uh, this place and I, get looted. I can't say enough how interesting the story is, to say the least. Uh, and how they're doing such a good job at playing it out. It, it's, it's really good so far, and I can't wait to get the full stride back in here on this playthrough again. So I'm just gonna... I guess... Oh, his heart. Let's see what's going on with this guy. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. Yeah, eat That's some stuff. Really sweet. Don't mention it. Yeah, let me guess. Do I get a good, good like morality boost or something. Energy bar. Let's go around. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here. There you go. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah, I just want to show some affection. And I care about all these people that I have did nothing but save. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, mm. and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was Doug. an asshole, but, you know... Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Ooh. I better get back to it. Yep. <laughs> You're not getting my chocolate bar, if you know what I mean. No, hey, you are. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Oh. Yeah, she might, I suppose. Oh. I'll give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Damn it. Sorry, little girl. I was going to let you starve. Clementine. Hey Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. It was very awkward. Okay. Now you want this chocolate bar? Why well, I have the? The hell? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Where's this chocolate bar that I just had? Oh, here we go. Okay, little girl. Have the energy bar. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clem. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. What do we do, Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Agreed. Go out there. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Jesus. No. Yeah. 
so disgusting. I think I'm gonna be he just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care about. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Is it a brick? I can't reach that brick. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh crap. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. It's always in rough shape. What are you talking about? Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. us. Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Binoculars would be nice, and you could really look and see. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. Let's head back inside. Okay. 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 Fire right? You went to fire three? Just walk in like it's nothing. Okay, let's um go do that drugstore thing. I don't know how we're gonna do it or where we go to do it. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, oh, that's the pharmacy. Let's see what this is. Alive inside. Oh, it's a trap. They're actually all dead. Why does the girl come with me? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Think about what? Oh. Looks like one of the most hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. That store leads to the back alley. Their par his parents were in the here. First aid kit. The first aid kit. I'm surprised he didn't slip in the fucking blood like he always does. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Get this pallet out of the way. What's that? <sighs> Whoa! What's that? This was my dad's cat. Bitch beater, that's he what it is. He'd around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. 
So your dad just smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. What? Oh. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. That was a weird look. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing, and things like that. We still haven't figured out what he went to was, was, was going to jail yeah, for. Like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. She almost just cut her fucking head off. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Because they're dead. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Let's get this done. I'm trying to figure out. Ow! Oh crap. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Is it bleeding? It's only gushing blood. I'll find you a bandage. There we go. Man, why did he put it in his pocket if he's gonna walk six feet? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. 